Good, happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Officer Rigamo remembered at emotional funeral service. Let's watch some of the video from the funeral. We provide a service like few others across the United States. Uh, modified the EMS at Cheshire Medical Center. We have the equipment and the training to handle life support missions. Uh, we have a landing zone set up in a ball field. We take care of the most sick and most badly injured patients. And to be able to help those people on a daily basis is incredibly rewarding. Okay, that is some video that was taken during the funeral. Friends, family, colleagues bid a final farewell to Massachusetts police officer who died a day after a crash on Interstate 95 in New Hampshire. Officer Louis Riggio 55 died Monday night, one day after he was struck while riding his motorcycle on I-95 in North Hampton. Witnesses told police an 18-year-old was racing other vehicles, swerved illegally across the median, and hit the beloved officer who was off-duty at the time on the southbound side of the highway. A funeral service was held Friday at St. Clement Church. Rigamo's cousin and daughter were among those who spoke during the service. A somber wake was held Thursday as hundreds lined up to pay their respect. Rigamo spent 30 years serving Somerville, and many say he has left his remark on the community. Rigamo is survived by two daughters. Two-year-old flown to hospital after being struck by vehicle. A medical helicopter was called after a child was struck by a vehicle Friday afternoon on Lincoln Road, firefighters confirmed. Authorities said the two-year-old was conscious and alert following the crash. The driver remained at the scene. The circumstances surrounding the crash were not immediately clear. Flyers talking nuclear war alliance shows up across South Portland. Let's take a listen to this video from Erin Dixon. Back 
Spectrum delivers. With superior HD picture and sound and the fastest internet starting speeds for the price. Plus, Spectrum Voice lets you talk all you want with unlimited nationwide calling. Spectrum TV, internet, and voice. $29.99 per month each. I could describe it probably best as being bizarre. Police say these letters, filled with talk of nuclear war, anti-immigrant sentiments, extraterrestrials, and other disturbing content, first began to show up Wednesday. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not threatening. The two- to four-page type letters were stuck in windshields across town, from a residential neighborhood near Scarborough to cars parked outside the main mall. Joyce Brannaman's husband found one on his car Wednesday morning. First reaction was, this is not okay. After reporting it to police, they checked in with several neighbors who said they hadn't received any letters. I asked whether she felt targeted. No, I feel disturbed that this is being put on people's windshields and it shows that there is an element of society who believe that only people of Caucasian uh, descent are of value. And I couldn't disagree with that more. Police say because they contain no threats, there is nothing illegal about the letters, and all they can do is make the public aware. If they wish to report uh, that they see someone doing this, I mean, we'd like to talk to them, but again, they're not, uh, they're not violating any law. We can check those and make sure that they're okay. In South Portland, Aaron Dixon, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that report. Now let's take a look at your market and see how your market did for this evening, for today. And here's a look at your stock market and here's how they closed at 4 p.m. Here's a look where they closed at for the day. NASDAQ rises to record close as Wall Street bets on strong earnings season. Corporate earnings for S&P 500 have been strong in the previous three quarters. Wall Street's betting on further strategies in earnings growth. U.S. stocks reached record high on Friday as investors bet on another strong earning season. Analysts, why Trump remarks about times changing back are troubling. Candidate Donald Trump got to the highest office in the land with a line that inspired millions of Americans. Make America great again. Those four words Trump once said came to him as he pondered our nation's problems. He trademarked it. He put it on hats. He ran on it. And among his support, it sparked a hope that our country could return to a time when life was better for them. But among some of his detractors, that phase felt like a shot across the blow. It re rose to no sentimentary nor hope for a better future, because the last word of that simply sentence carried with it the full weight of our country's past, a past in which not everyone enjoyed equal rights nor equal, equal across to opportunity nor equal protect under the law. A past riddled with moments of discrimination and oppositions and outright crimes against humani humanity, moments that resnot more deeply with American communities they impacted in imminently in 
part defined. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news. Good night, everyone. Bye.